Good morning everybody. So um, this is the first time that I would have vlogged in the new house. Um, we've been in here now for about a week and a half. I think it's fair to say that Lydia's done quite a lot of content around the house. So uh, if you do want to see more of the house, make sure you head over to her channels. But I thought I've not vlogged in like a week. So I'm going to pick up the camera and uh, yeah, I'm just doing house bits and bobs today, gonna do a bit of shopping and stuff, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. The Ferrari trip was the last video that went up, and oh my god, what an absolutely amazing experience. The car was absolutely phenomenal, so that was great. Thank you for all the feedback um, you guys gave on that video, but it was very kind of you. And on the Hong Kong video as well, I got a lot of uh, love for that, so I do appreciate the uh, support that you guys are showing. And um, today's probably not gonna be so epic, but um, hopefully good fun. So. I'm currently just downstairs building some kitchen chairs for Lids and I. So if you take a look here, I'm halfway through it and I thought, hmm, I should really be vlogging. So uh, I picked up the camera, but these are the new chairs that have arrived for the kitchen. And uh, I'm gonna get busy making these and then we're gonna put them in there and see what they look like. And voila, we have one finished chair. We let Lydia do this one that Lynx is sitting on. Shut and she did up. it wrong. I did not do that one. I was just about to show them what you did. <laughs> but this is our chair. It's going to go in the kitchen. <laughs> show the back. Yeah. So, do you want to take it in? <clears throat> Lydia's workout for the day. Out with the old. In with the new. You should put them side by side, you can have a comparison. How much nicer does that look? Yeah, they got two of those. It's going to look a lot nicer, isn't it? Yeah. More body to them. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get the second one finished off and make good of Lydia's Shut attempt. Up. And then we'll have two lovely new pastels. Right, so I've just finished off sorting the chairs out downstairs and I thought it's time to crack on with my office. I just want to quickly give you a little bit of a... Um, like run up to where we are today with the house because you're probably going to be thinking why is your office in such a state you've been there for a couple of weeks or whatever however long it's been um so Lydia and I moved on a Friday and um we had to move from the old house into this new house and during that time I had to get a few things up and running like the bed and try and get some stuff working for the internet because the next day I was going to be heading to Italy with Ferrari and it meant that Lydia was going to be here just with Carrie and the two of them were going to need to work and stuff so basically the first sort of six seven days of moving in here I wasn't really here because when I got back from Italy I had um, half a day back at home and then I need to be back in London for some other work commitments and then the following day I had to go and shoot a full day campaign so it's been extremely busy. I had the weekend just gone spare and Lydia, Carrie and myself spent the time buying bits and bobs for the house that we really needed just like little things like dustpans and brushes and uh, bins and the sort of essentials and getting everything together so I still haven't really had time to focus on the house and then on Sunday we spent a little bit of time organising um, all of the services to the house it was like the gas, the electric, council tax, TV licences and just getting them all switched over oh my god, talking to companies like your suppliers they're an absolute pain in that air like seriously you speak to them and they're like we're just gonna put you on hold and you spend like 40 minutes just trying to organize an account with them it's so painful but um, that literally et up the majority of my day trying to sort all that stuff out and uh, of course we had the really bad snow weather which obviously set us back a little bit as well because a lot of businesses weren't working so it was really hard to get hold of them uh, to organize stuff so anyway we're at a point where we're on Wednesday at the moment and I've had Monday and Tuesday to sort of focus a little bit more on the house and try and get stuff sorted. So I've been focusing on like the kitchen area and the games room, which I haven't showed any of you guys yet. Um, maybe you might have seen it on Lydia's channel, but I haven't put anything on the house on my vlog. So I thought I'm going to start off in the office because I need to organise it. So I'm going to give you guys a little mini office tour. Um, I say office, this is actually going to be my walk-in wardrobe um sort of like chill area and office i'm gonna use this room it's gonna be like a multifunctional room because i wanted somewhere that was like secluded it was my space and uh, it just got me away from the rest of the stuff that's going on in the house with lids uh, working and vlogging and carry working and stuff so i thought it was a nice separation between us all so yeah we're gonna take a look at the um office and 
like I've just mentioned, the reason why it's in such a bad state is because I've literally have just dropped boxes in here and I've not spent any time and uh, put any attention to trying to organise it. So, this is the door that has my gym towel hanging up. This is all stuff that I need to organise. I'm definitely not going to have a hoover hanging on my room. Um, but again, it was just, there was a nail in the wall. We needed to charge the hoover, so I just quickly bashed it up there. Um, so yeah, this is where you come into the room. I always have a little visitor. You're not coming in. You walk through my door, as you can see I've got a big mirror at the back which I'm using to get ready with at the moment. And then this is basically just like all my clothes and shoes. And Lydia once said that she has more shoes than me and I still challenge that to this day. But anyway, um, this is kind of like where I'm envisioning having things positioned anyway. So I envision this being like a built-in wardrobe space that's gonna come all the way back to the back wall and then I'll probably lip it around as well. Possibly keep this sort of mirror space very similar and have maybe like a seated bench area where I can sit down to put like my socks and shoes on and then a mirror behind which I can do my hair in and stuff. But all of this is yet to be decided. The only downside to that is I have a Velux there and not one there which means I get a lot of side contrast on the side of my face. So this side of my face is dark and this side's really light so it's a bit annoying when you're trying to get ready. But anyway, this corner will then be a corner that I have um, like a sofa and a coffee table and I can just sort of sit down when I'm taking phone calls, just sort of chill over there. And then through there is the loft space and then in this corner, <laughs> which is just full of boxes, I plan on having a workbench uh, which is going to be essentially my office in that corner there and then here will just be obviously where the chair and stuff is So that's how I'm kind of envisioning splitting this room into three sections And hopefully it will make a really nice space and it'll be somewhere that I can sort of come and I have the majority of things I need up here. Um, I do intend on having a coffee machine up here uh, and all the all the essentials so there's so much to do because I want to completely redesign the feel and the sort of mood of the room. So the built-in wardrobes are gonna have like lighting and stuff all around them and they're gonna be quite decorative. And then the office space, um, I'm thinking of putting parquet flooring down just to give it a bit more of a harder surface, a bit more of an office feel. This is something that I'm probably gonna call my little brother's partner in, Jess. She's an interior designer and uh, she actually specializes in um, maximizing space as well. So that's gonna be really useful because she can say to me, look, this is how you're gonna get the most out of this room. This is like gonna be the next big project for me. I think that we've tackled the kitchen area and we've started on our room and the majority of the house is sort of livable. This space at the moment is causing me a headache because I just, I'm, I'm an organized person and it's so disorganized in here. But that's, um, that's the office tour at the minute, so. Uh, you've seen it now before we do all the work to it. When that work starts, I'm not really too sure. Uh, hopefully sooner than later. But yeah, it's a great space and I'm very grateful to have this space, to have it as an office and a wardrobe just for me. Um, the house we lived at before, it was working off a sofa and my wardrobe was about a meter squared. So it's a completely different feel and vibe. So I'm very happy. And I keep on looking down there because Lynx is a little weir at the minute. And he gets in boxes and he wheeze. <laughs> You're purring. So on that note of uh, a disorganized office, I think I'm gonna spend uh, the next couple of hours going through all of those boxes and um, trying to sort of like get some sort of organization in the room. And then I need to head into Milton Keynes and do some shopping. I need to get a suit because I'm going to Australia, which I'm very excited about um, next month with Lydia as well. So that's gonna be really cool. And uh, I also need to get some more stuff for the house. So yeah, let's get busy and let's sort this mess out. So I basically just like pulled everything out so I can see what's what. Can't believe how many clothes I've got. It's crazy. I need to have a serious clear out because there's no way I'm going to wear all of that next year. Harry's just come up to the room and we've just redesigned the whole setup. So, I was going to have the office over there and then where we are here was going to be the chill area and then that was going to be the wardrobe like it is. But actually, after speaking with Carrie, we've decided that it would be better if that stayed as the wardrobe. Back there was where all the shoes went. And then where we are here is where the desk would go. And then in this middle section here, to fill up the middle of the room, would be coffee table. 
and Chesterfield chairs with a nice rug. So change of plan. Anyway, I'm switching this off. So I've just started taking some of my shoes and sticking them over there and I think I'm gonna have to pick up about eight more rails and sort of mimic that U-shape um, kind of like horseshoe storage system that I'm gonna try to imply um, just to see if like practically it kind of works well and I feel comfortable uh, using it in that way but it's looking promising. Um, I'm now gonna stop doing that for a moment because I've got all these boxes to sort out and I do actually need to head up the city today uh, to start picking up some bits so I don't want this to go on and on and on for too long uh, so it's really important that I get these sorted out so I'm going to go through all of these boxes here on the floor and I'm going to try and sort them out and get sort of the charity the keep pile and the not sure pile all sorted because some of my summer clothes and stuff are in there that I might want to keep for next season depending I probably want to freshen up my wardrobe more but um, yeah we'll see so I'm going to get busy basically making three piles maybe even four piles uh, of clothes just to sort of split them up and then uh, file them as best as possible. So these are the two boxes that are full of clothes ready to take to a charity shop. Uh, I think I'm going to take them to a local charity called Woolen Hospice and uh, yeah they're going to go through them, sort them out and decide what they want to do with them so good times. Morning everybody so yesterday I um, went to the gym after I'd finished shopping and I managed to pick up some more shoe racks which I'm going to assemble this morning but I've just jumped out of the shower I'm going to go down and grab some breakfast then I'm going to get busy doing that and then I'm going to go and finish off doing what I should have done yesterday which is um, go suit shopping and any other bits that I forgot uh, I need to make a list my memory is so bad I need to make a list so when I go out I can actually get everything sorted I'm going to go grab some breakfast now anyway because I'm starving I also just thought, I've just come down into the kitchen and uh, I remember in my Valentine's vlog when Lydia and I went down to London, we dropped into Smeg and finally those products from that day have arrived. Um, I think they arrived last week and so I thought I'd quickly show you what we went for, what we picked so you can take a look and see. Um, so we'll start off in this corner. So we went for like the white and grey sort of tones across all of the appliances. Um, we didn't want just the complete range to be in the same colour. So we've gone for that contrast. It goes really nicely with the kitchen. So we got the blender, the toaster, and then over here we have this absolutely hench smeg. Um, I'm not sure which one this is, but it's like the biggest fridge that they do. And we've managed to fill it already. Good times. We went for the white kettle over here, which is really cool actually. You can select the settings, um, so you can pick the temperature that you want it to boil to. It's on the side, so you can select whatever temperature you desire. And then we've got something that I won't be using. <laughs> this is like a mixer, I think, for like when you're baking and stuff. Um, so I'm sure the girls will use that. Off the side, Lumi, links even. And I think that's it actually. Um, we've got two mini fridges. One's going in Lydia's office and one's going to be going into the uh, gym studio when that's done. So yeah, very happy they've arrived. I think we've got a couple more bits coming like the uh, juicer and stuff. Uh, but we're just waiting for those to come out in white. I think they're going to be coming out in the next month or so. So then we're going to be all kitted out with some egg stuff, which is really cool. So anyway, I'm going to have some breakfast. So breakfast is served. I've gone for the eggs and the beans. Because beans give you energy. Also, um, when we went to the BAFTA, Nespresso actually gifted us some of these new coffee pods. And uh, I've been trying them out and they're really, really good. So big thank you to Nespresso for that. That's how every day should start. Right, so I'm gonna spend the next 10 minutes making those into those. Let's do this. There we have it. This is the um, temporary shoe accommodation. As you can see, I've got far too many white trainers, far too many Chelsea boots. But this is gonna kind of be like the way in which this corner of the room is set up. It's obviously gonna go higher which means that it won't come out as far. So I won't have this protruding so much. It'll be a lot neater and obviously it'll all be like inbuilt. So I think that's definitely the best uh, way to store my shoes because that collection's gonna do nothing but grow. Um, I can actually see, I've got a couple of spaces just down here. So I think I better go out and shop and fill those because otherwise my OCD is going to kick in. <laughs> but um, it's cleared up obviously all the floor space around here now. So where are my clothes are hanging? 
that's all freed up but yeah i kind of feel like the temporary setup's working for me i feel like a lot more organized in here now and um hopefully in the not too long distance future um i'm gonna be able to have this space like renovated and uh, like fully equipped into the work office wardrobe space that i want it to be so yeah that's my room um i hope you've enjoyed like the mini tour as you can see there's not really a lot to look at because everything's very temporary that's what it is at the minute and uh, i didn't really actually address this so this box here this is like so vintage this was lydia's dad's i think he's called it like a tuck box when he was at boarding school they used to have these boxes and uh, it's just where they used to keep their stuff in and this was his and he kind of gave it to us so i'm currently using it to store my fragrances uh, <laughs> you'll be um surprised to know that this isn't my full collection this is just probably two-thirds of my collection uh but yeah if you ever come across me and i'm not smelling good i have no excuses a couple of favorites of mine at the moment i would say are ooh, put myself on the spot um i really still like this gentleman only by Givenchy. really nice in fact all of these on the top row are pretty much ones that i go to a lot because i put them there because they're just sort of easy access so these are kind of like ones that i just can quickly grab and the same with the joe malone fragrances just like really easy to grab these yeah this is one of my favorites at the moment as well it's uh, mirin tonka by joe malone uh, obviously then we've got some safe bets like the sauvage spice bomb and all those lots so yeah that's uh, my fragrance storage unit at the moment and then i've just got another box which has the stuff i used to get ready in over there and uh, here are the new house 99 products that i'm testing out at the moment so far so good i'm enjoying those and uh oh big fight so these two have completely calmed down like Lumi in the old house was getting really stressed out and she was struggling because Lynx just wanted to play all the time and she didn't really have anywhere to go but now we've got the new place she has so many places to hide and run she's like so much more content and she's so much more affectionate and Lynx is still trying to play with her but it's much more tolerable it's okay I'm changing the carpet you do what you got to do you have got two scratching posts downstairs <laughs> So yeah, I think that um, wraps up today's video quite nicely. We've had like a mini wardrobe slash office tour uh, as it stands. Are you okay, darling? Did he beat you up? Now it's your turn to scratch the carpet, is it? So anyway, as I was saying, um, I think that kind of gives a first look at what's going to be my office slash wardrobe and uh, I actually drew a little drawing that I should probably show you uh, when Carrie came up yesterday and it kind of shows you the direction in which I think the room's going to go. I think it's kind of cool that we're going to be able to see it before and after the work's been done. I want to say draw and it literally just was a quick sketch but say this is the room here this is the door where you walk in this is where the shoe rack is. I'm thinking of doing a walk-in wardrobe space here and then this section here because the radiator is there we're going to have that as like uh, so it'll be some drawers with maybe like a glass topped cover where you can see like watches and stuff like that and then i can have a mirror on here as well and then this would be all wooden floor um preferably parquet but we'll see um because lydia's talking about it being too noisy uh, down below but then this would be like a huge rug with a coffee table with two armchairs and then this would be my actual desk and my chair in the back here so i'd actually be able to look out onto the space so it wouldn't feel too claustrophobic because over here it would have probably felt like that so that's the kind of design layout at the moment i'm still going to get jess in my little brother's girlfriend to uh give me some advice on how she thinks it should be laid out but if anybody watching this has a better idea of how this would work let me know i'd love to hear if anybody has any thoughts on that because it's quite an awkward room to make work in the way in which i do i really want the wardrobe the office and the chill area so yeah that's the current plan but it all could change it is like a really nice space so I'm hoping to make the most of it and uh, I think this is where I'm going to spend a lot of my time. So I'm going to wrap the vlog up here because I think it showcases my wardrobe office space as it is at the moment. There's not a huge amount to show you so um, excited to see what we do with it and um, yeah I'm going to sign off. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and if you have please do give it a thumbs up and uh, hopefully soon we'll bring you some more epic content.